like everybody, I've always been criticized. Hey, oh my, you say the flat bench sucks and why is that? Well, let's go to the videotape. So since the beginning of bodybuilding, people have gotten down on the bench, grabbed the bar, put it over, dropped it on their chest, did something like this. First of all, that motion is harsh on the shoulder. If you protect your shoulder, it becomes less of a chest and more of a tricep exercise, right? From there on, most people don't really have that much fiber here. So on a flat bench, they're only training a tiny part of the chest while neglecting the decline, the lower part of the chest. So the first order of business is setting up a slight decline, something like this. And then ask yourself like, okay, can I do something like this without hunching up, right? So like, what's my mobility like? Courtesy of swimming, I'm actually quite good. So if you can do that, then you can actually bench with a barbell on the flat. But I'm still not a fan because the inward intention is also critical for chest development, right? So that brings us to a plethora of ideas which my feeble mind comes up with. One being obviously the fly. Now, this is the one time Arnold actually harmed people when he was doing pumping iron and he went down to here for the stretch and then up to here. Most people don't have Arnold's ligaments, so like if they go down here, they will tear shit, no questions asked. Also this part, despite popular belief, there's no squeeze, you know why? Because gravity doesn't go like this, it goes like this. That said, a proper fly, be coming a little bit higher and coming together like so, pure gold. Next, the squeeze press. So really driving it together. <coughs> it's an excellent option for chest engagement. Then there's the fly press where you come down on the fly, turn and press, fly, turn, press. If your shoulders are challenging you, try the push press where you come more like so and never, never clank. <laughs> so then, the next thing is cables, right? Um, what about the delts, you ask? It's a good question. So the, the bench press, the pressing, whatever, trains the anterior delt, right? Which gets enough work as is. No need to do front raises, all that stuff, pointless. So everybody knows I'm a fan of the cables. Um, like I said, most people are best off something like this which then comes to, could be straight up fly, it could be a couple flies and then presses, it could also be a kneeling crossover, right? And you can play with it where you start here, you do straight flies, working more on the mid part, and then coming more and more into the decline as you fatigue, okay? Now, if your gym owner is very generous, he buys you this one, the Watson chest press. <clears throat> that works exactly how the human body works. Meaning, you get in, and now the arms come together and above you. <clears throat> which is just right. And you also have the option to do a close grip, but the close grip goes inward, so you have that mobility, that intention. So we're skipping the delt because that is overworked. Triceps, there's close grip press, we covered that. Then I'm a fan of the kickback, where you just work on the contracted phase. If dumbbells is your weapon of choice. And then of course, there's the uh, tape press, where you're like, like this, for the long head. <clears throat> and a, a push-up, somewhere like this without lockout would also work. And for even resistance, again, cables work really well. 
So you can be starting with just a contraction. You could do a stretch. And obviously you can work the strength curve where you're stepping inward as you go along. Underhand is a bad idea because now the grip is limiting factor, so don't do that. In general, people have to get out of the head that there's A, must-do exercises. There's only must-do movements, such as pressing. And there's also no mass exercises. Think about what you're saying. So it's like, oh, this is a mass exercise. So after this, my chest takes off, goes to muscle maker grill. On second half, gets food and comes back because it has to grow, right? There's only contraction, activation, and tension. My God.